Suit of Cards, a radio drama told through letters. Episode 4, The Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands invokes the meaning, while upright, of persistence and resilience. However, when reversed, invokes the meaning of defensiveness, paranoia, and a feeling of hesitance. January 1855 Dear Lottie, you will not recognize the handwriting in this letter, as it is not my own. I am having a friend write for me, as I have broken my hand. Please do not inquire of how. He broke it, slamming his hands down on the desk in a surprised manner, upon finding out about your condition. I was so delighted to learn of your amazing news when I read your letter. I do wish I could be there to meet the newest addition to your family, but alas, I will be traveling more in the coming months. It took him some hours to figure out what you were talking about, mumbling nonsense until he figured it out, and he broke his hand on the desk. I never questioned your having of the plague, as you have always been so healthy. He quite loudly pondered the idea of you having diphtheria. It did confuse him about why you would be pleased about that, Mrs. Fletcher. Please do not take this the wrong way, but sometimes I wonder why I adore your brother so. My congratulations to the expecting couple. You'll be a wonderful mother, Lottie. Oh yes, congratulations! May I be allowed to send a gift once the child is born? With love, Ace. February, 1855. Dear Ace, my husband has often pondered about these letters that I send and receive. He is starting to be suspicious. I have not told them that they are my brother, as I am afraid the news would spread. After I received the last letter, he pulled it out of my hands and read it. Now he believes I have not only one secret lover, but two. He now questions if he truly is the father of our child. This is supposed to be my letter telling you, as he put it, to sod off. Sincerely, Mrs. Fletcher. April, 1855. Dear Lottie, I have attached a letter for your husband. I hope you and your child are doing well, my darling sister. With love, Ace. Dear Mr. Robert Fletcher, excuse my shaky handwriting, as I have in the past few months just recently broken my hand. And yes, I did write a letter to your wife on the same sheet of paper. I have decided to write this letter, despite my self-exile, to inform you of a few things. Before I do so, I should introduce myself. I am Augustus C. Emery the brother of your wife, Lottie, and I have been made aware that some of her correspondents have made you suspicious of my sister's fidelity. I am writing to tell you that you have married the most faithful woman in all of bloody England and all of the Queen's colonies. And as I may not have been present at the wedding, I will remind you that should my sister say anything to me that makes me have a concern, I will not hesitate to come collect her and any of her children and house them myself. I am not a man for idle threats, and while I may not even be in the same country as you, I will make good of that promise. Thank you for your time, Mr. Fletcher. Kindly sawed off. Mr. Augustus C. Emery. P.S. It may be helpful to look at the number of stamps to determine how far these letters are coming from. As I am sure you know, more than one means they come from rather a long ways away. May, 1855. Dear Ace, my husband Robert has not brought up the fidelity issue since the letter you sent. I was unable to read the letter because soon after he read it, it became smoke in our fireplace. He now seems to firmly believe that the child is his. It always was, of course. Do not worry as I informed him that he must keep the existence of your letters in the utmost confidence, and he seems to have no intention of telling anyone. I do wonder what you said to scare him so. Anyways, me and the child are fine. He seems to be moving around so much. I know we have no way of knowing if the child is a boy or a girl, but I do believe I am bearing a son. You cannot fathom how large I have become. Remember when we were children and we questioned if the moon was made out of taffy and we wanted to eat it all up? Well, I look like I have. I have a giant taffy moon as a stomach. I hope to see you soon when the child is born. Your loving sister, Little Lottie. July. 1855. Dear Lottie, I'm glad Robert is keeping our little secret, and I am beyond pleased that you and the baby are doing well. I cannot wait to hear about the mischief your child will get into, and to spoil them relentlessly with gifts and letters once they are born. I am so pleased that you are happy and well. I adore you so much, my dear sister. With love, Ace.
Thank you for listening. This has been Suit of Cards. If you want to listen again, or if you are just tuning in, you can tune in to KLRP at 91.1 on Mondays and Wednesdays at noon, 4.30, and 6.30. Or you can go to our website at theaterofthemindcompany.webs.com. Theater spelled T-H-E-A-T-R-E. Farewell until the next letter.